hello. So we are here in Kaminets Podolski and it is snowing, which makes me very excited. Uh, last you saw us, we were in Kolomia at the Giant Egg. Our plan is to be here for seven days. Um, and normally when we stay somewhere that long, we like to grocery shop. Since we've been in Ukraine, we've mostly been buying our groceries from these babushkas who are like grandmas or older ladies on the side of the road. So what's really intriguing to me is that it can be minus 10 and they're there on the side of the road with like eight potatoes, four heads of garlic, and some frozen spring onions. So our plan is today to meet up with our Polish friend Gosha, who we met back in Rachiv. She is a, like a babushka magnet who we're going to bring along and she can speak to them. So hopefully she can help us get to know them a little bit more um, and also get some great veggies from them. And we could go to a regular grocery store, but we found that the produce just isn't as good. And this is just an opportunity for us to support local people, which we really like to do. We first kind of read about it in Lonely Planet. Um, where it kind of talked about encouraging travelers to buy from people in the street and it's safe, it's good produce, go for it, which kind of sparked our interest a little bit into like who they are and what we can get and yeah. And I mean, to a lot of people here, babushka equals like homemade, babushka equals organic. And I would say that's, I mean, I don't know if it's organic, but it tastes amazing. So this is Gosha and she is coming with us to buy groceries. But interestingly, because Gosha speaks Polish, the people here who speak Ukrainian can understand you. Like, like yeah, mostly. It's like I speak a different language, they speak a different language, but they are so similar that we can understand like basically 90%, 95. Can make a this is where we're going to attempt to buy most of our food. We mentioned earlier maybe that we were buying it on the street. There are babushkas there, but these people are in the same situation and most of them are babushkas. Ultimately, I just wish they'd take me home and make me dinner and I'd pay them for that. How is it? It's good? I can put my finger in? Okay. Mm, that's homemade cream. Let's take some? Yes. That's delicious stuff. You try. What's You don't like it? Not really. This is like homemade sauerkraut? Uh huh, delicious. Delicious. Uh -huh. Let's buy some. <laughs> you must be freezing. <laughs> That's what 10 years of being outside in the Ukrainian cold does to you. You just can't feel it. <laughs> at 8 in the morning. They get here at 8 in the morning? Yeah. Uh, uh, at 4 p.m. 8 to 4 p.m. 8 to 4 every day. No, no. That's the bean and you can have a look. It's plenty, plenty. You like that one? I like that one. Okay, that one. What do I do? You can take it by hand. And where does she get it all? Yeah, man, it's your business, now it's your business. So somebody is having them from the garden and she's selling for the friends. How many years has she been selling at this market? A možná pani mu zapytat? Kolik ta Ukrajina stala slobodna, od těch pár my tu to sedíme. Opa. Jak bomžie? Da. Thirty years when the Ukraine became independent, really. A pensia u mene 1400. So she needs for she needs to live for something. That's her way to make money, and her pension is 150. A rozhodně. 1050, sorry. How much does she make here for the month? If she's comfortable. A možná zapytat? Vrát normálně. Normálně. A mož i to dobré, tak? Dobré. Jaku? It's like the money she can live from. Chceme. A jak? A jak paní na imě? Larissa. 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 So Larissa's story is actually quite a common one. Uh, people have been selling their stuff in the streets since the end of the Soviet Union. And you've probably heard there was a revolution here in 2014 and uh, that Russia annexed Crimea and there's violence in the east of the country with the Russian-backed separatists. And this is kind of how those kind of events impact real people. Uh, because now a lot of people on pensions uh, are struggling because the currency lost two-thirds of its value as a result of those events. So that a lot of Ukrainians actually hoard US dollars and euros uh, because they don't have any faith, which is understandable, uh, in the stability of the currency. But if you're on a pension, you don't, you, you don't really have a choice. You're receiving your pension in Ukrainian hryvnias, so you're totally exposed to those fluctuations. 
Gosh has just bought some honey, about a dollar for this. <laughs> what did she say? So she said it, like, it was so like casual, come when I was buying that honey and she underlined mm -hmm. that, that the president of Poland is a good person. I don't know why she said that. Why do you president Ukraine? Why do you president Ukraine? But president is in here, she's like taking stuff for himself. So that was interesting. Well, I can film now if you're cold. Okay. It is so cold. Filming here is very difficult, but we're making it through. These women over there think we're taking selfies. Now they want a selfie with us. Yes? <laughs> What's she saying? <laughs> They're just ridiculing us. So this woman has made this wine in her home. And apparently it's really good. I like it. It's you really, like, it? like, you can feel the grapes really. That's what I like. Uh -huh. You can feel the grapes. Okay. Should we buy? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just put that cap on there that we've just tried from. Shisha is just so good at getting to know everybody here. It's like they're all her grandmas, <laughs> her babushkas. We were loving just how eager some of these women were to talk. Without much prompting, this lady told us about moving here decades ago from her town about a hundred kilometers away to marry her husband. She said that even after all this time, she still felt like a bit of an outsider. And that wasn't the first time that we've heard that from someone who's moved within Ukraine. They just love to talk to you, don't they? It's like they are starting. You say good morning and you already got all of those informations. You don't need to ask questions, really. Yeah. Yeah. The one question we couldn't bring ourselves to ask, but couldn't help but wonder, was how many of them were widows. Due to a variety of factors, including alcohol, war, and mental health, life expectancy in Ukraine for women is a full 10 years higher than it is for men. <laughs> This is everything we bought from our babushkas. How much was it? Around 500. Around 500 shrivna. Interesting things we got. Bee pollen, pumpkin seeds, dried fruit to make a juice, dried beans, rose hips for tea, eggs, walnuts, raspberry sauce, dill pickles, homemade wine, some sort of squash soup thing, fresh cream. Which is delicious, really. <laughs> Honey, sauerkraut with mushrooms she found in the wild, pomegranates, apples, carrots, yeah. So we've made some pretty good soup from our babushka grocery haul. And we're having our babushka homemade wine. When we buy something they say, Mazdrovna, is that right? Mazdrov, Mazdroveczko, Mazdrovia. Which is Something like... Something like, you are welcome, but in the way, let it be for your health. And it's really honest. Yes. Say. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like they're like, yes, go feed yourself yes. with this. Nourish yes. yourself. Make good tea. Yes. It is not about money only for them. It is about money, like they are earning money. But it's also about that interaction. Like, mm -hmm. it's that's the thing for me. Why That's why I go there. Because there are plenty of babushkas, I would say, in different countries. They might look different, but the ladies, old ladies on the pavement, mm -hmm. you just buy stuff from them. If there's something you saw that was interesting that you have a question about, um, comment below and then we can Facebook Gosha and she'll answer those questions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Feel free. <laughs> um, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of the interesting details of Ukraine.